All right, everybody, Tuesday workout today, we are bringing one up of the archives for you. So if you're brand new to us, uh, welcome. And uh, I think you're gonna like this one. This is a, this is a great one. Um, it tends to be a fan favorite. Not one we can do every two. Sorry, I really tried to stop that. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. We are, we're, we're, I'm not even gonna edit that out. I'm gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna keep rolling. We'll do it live. I really tried to hold it in. <laughs> Don't hold in a sneeze. I hear it's really dangerous for like your, I don't it's, know. It's all this pollen. Though. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do one um, that we've done in the past. And uh, hopefully you guys like it if you're brand new. If you are uh, with us, you kind of have a love hate with this one. But uh, we're going to get started. we got to do our dynamic warm up for this one. Yes. Got to be really warmed up. Jumping jacks, seal claps, crisscrosses, knocking out. 15 of each of those ready. And let's begin. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. I'm still thinking about you sneezing. <laughs> right. Put that one in slow mo. <laughs> right. I wanted to be like, uh, um, uh, what was the uh, movie with Will Ferrell and and um, Anchorman, oh. where he puts on and he's like. I hate to tell you, but you smell like gasoline. <laughs> Black Panther. Ready and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then fifteen. Now that scene from the movie in my head. It's funny every time. And Chris Cross, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. It's that new month. It's Tuesday. <laughs> You're oh, ruined now for uh, the rest of this For the, the time. rest of this week, i got to <laughs> recompose. Okay, so our warm-up still brand new to me, so let me take a look at my cheat. Look, we've got our rotational skip. So typewriter our Typewriter first. Oh, typewriter first. That's right. So from the side... Shift all the way to the other side. So side lunge, shift to the other side, and back. You're going to do five in each direction. Mm -hmm. Ready? And slide it right across. You don't want to go up or down in the typewriter. Straight across. Three. Three. Four. What did we do on Monday? I feel a little bit in my hammies. <laughs> it's a new month. New month. You're going to feel it. You're going to start feeling it. You got really good at April. Now it's May. First week. Always tough. So if you're new to us and you get through the first week, you're like, oh my God, I'm so sore. You didn't get any weaker or less fit from last week to this week. It just is what it is. It's the new month. So uh, now we have our rotational skips. We're going to turn... The knee outward, if you want to travel forwards and backwards, if you have the room to do that, go ahead. I think Coach Amy will probably travel. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stay put, I got a box behind me. So, um, stopwatch. 20 seconds, ready, and let's begin. Turning those knees on out. Five more seconds. Opening up those hips. And time. The next one is going to be alternating knee hugs. Pretty simple, not high intensity, not high impact. <laughs> but you do want to get that knee up nice and high and get that stretch. We're gonna do 20 seconds. Ready? And begin. Pull that knee up nice and high. Activate your core while doing it. Try not to wobble, work your balance. Maybe one more on each side. 
and time. All right, next one, alternating single leg reach. I like this one. You're gonna reach out, arms up by your ears and your legs straight back, and then bring it back to standing, and then alternate, okay? Alternate, reach. Take a quick glance behind you, make sure there's nothing there that you are gonna kick, knock over, put your foot through the wall. Ready and begin. This is always a good one if you have a somewhat larger dog. They tend to like to bump into you as soon as you start something like this. We're gonna go longer than 20 seconds on this one, Coach. I'm gonna get three on each side. There you go. I'm good with that. And relax. Mainly because my hamstrings are a little sore. <laughs> I just need, I felt good. Stretch out those hamstrings a little bit. All right, the next one we're going to do is the bear. Different than our bear crawl. We did this two months or three months ago, something like that. Your feet are wide and hands are down. You're going to go opposite foot, opposite hand, three or four steps forward, then go three or four steps backwards. All right, are you ready? And begin. You want to keep your legs straight and your hips up really high in the air. And time. All right, the last animal movement that we are going to do is the duck. It is a waddle, a duck waddle. So we're down nice and low. You want to keep your shoulders up versus crouching over like this. And you're just gonna waddle forward a few steps and then waddle back a few steps. What I don't wanna see is the knee caving in. I sometimes see people try to walk it and that you don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure that it's waddled. All right, are you ready, coach? I'm ready. 20 seconds and begin. And assess your level, like where your butt is. And at the end of the month, see if you're able to do the duck waddle a little bit lower and time. Ooh. That's why you don't want to do it for more than 20 seconds. No, no, no. <laughs> no <laughs> need. Okay. All right. The next one we're going to do is going to be a side plank. Depending on the floor that you have, you might take a couch pillow, put it underneath of that forearm. Um, you might have a sweatshirt, a towel, something like that. Two options for the side plank, heel to toe and raise up, okay? This is one side plank here. The other is a modification. So what I'll do is I'll bend the bottom knee 90 degrees and then raise up as well, okay? Both are great side plank variations. It all just depends on where you are in your Level of side plank. 20 seconds, ready? Ready. And begin. I was mainly just psyching myself up. Yeah. Like, are you ready? You got this, coach. <laughs> I think I can, I think I can. You can. The little engine that could. Woo! <laughs> See, I learned from Saturday. Time! I put my head in your feet. Right. All right. Other side ready and begin. Hold it. You want to keep your hips forward. You don't want to rotate. You don't want to have this hand down. And it can be here, it can be up in the air. And time. All right, the last one that we are going to do. Again, look behind you. Make sure you're not gonna kick anything. From the plank position, we'll drive our knee in, shift it straight back. Knee in, shift it straight back, okay? Whew, 20 seconds, ready and begin. Feel it, drive it in, kick it back. All right. 
These warm-ups are designed to prepare you for what we have coming in your workout. And time. Ready to go to the other side, coach? Yep. And here we go. In and back. Slow and controlled. Some warm-up elements, we want you to go quicker. This is not one. This is slow and controlled. And time. Ooh. Very nice. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Pick a card in card. I was going to say, I don't know if it's that. That's, I don't know if that's how it works. <laughs> if it's a red card, we do it. If it's a... <laughs> Black card, we just we are gonna take just a go, nap. Right. <laughs> go have a coffee. Shavasana. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to do a deck of card workout. So, here is... Oh, you know what? Why don't you explain the deck of card workouts while I pull some cards out of the deck? Oh. Oh, no. Okay. So, deck of cards workout. The way this works is... It's going to be different every time. It's going to be based on what card is on the top of that deck. So based on the suit, that's going to be the exercise that we'll do. So it's going to be consistent across the board. And the number on that card is going to be the number of reps that we do. Uh, we're going to do 11 cards in a row. Ideally, we get through about four rounds. Ideally, four rounds. Uh, sometimes we run out of time, <laughs> depending on how much, uh, you know, how challenging it is. But usually we do push through it and you'll get a minute of rest in between those rounds so that you can get some water and take a break. So each number on the card represents how many reps we do. So if it's five, we're going to do five reps. The suit is the exercise. Jack is 11. Queen is 12. King is 13. Ace is 14, okay? Now, the other thing that can happen is you might get a king and then the ace. Well, that's now 13 and 14. That's 27 reps of an exercise right in a row. So mm -hmm. we're trying to avoid a lot of those being strung together. We don't want those runs happening, okay? I did take out the twos and the threes. Mm -hmm. We don't need those. Two of what? I mean, like, big deal. We got two. We'll We're start. Cut to the chase. Cut so to the speak. chase. <laughs> Nothing really happens until four anyway. So we're mm -hmm. going to go to four. All right. So have these nice and shuffled. Uh, let's show you the four different exercises. So when a club comes up, when a club comes up, we're going to go split together, split together, split we're gonna count when the feet tap together. Okay, so one, two, three, right? So you go until whatever the suit or whatever the number says. All right, then spade. So our, our black suited cards are going to be on our feet. That's gonna be a star jump. Okay, those of you with small lower ceilings, you might wanna, that's why Coach Amy's on that side. I'd have broken fingers, All right? Now, if you're not into a lot of the jumping, what you can do are gonna be jumping jacks, okay? So star jump is our progression, modification will be a jumping jack. Mm -hmm. All right, then we can take it to the floor. Diamond is going to be our plank knee tuck. So here, we jump our feet in, jump back to the plank. Two, three. What I find with this one is people try to jump in too far. And what happens is it looks like this. And their butt comes way up in the air. You want to maintain that plank position. Your feet might travel six inches. Yeah. The other way I think about it too is if your knees come kind of underneath your hips, but no, no further beyond the hips. So. Yep. Last one, push-ups. From the toes, down and up. From the knees, down and up. You can elevate it. 
using a bench. You can elevate it using the arm of your couch. Here's the thing. These aren't slow push-ups. These have got to be moving, okay? 14 push-ups could take 15 to 20 seconds, or 14 push-ups could take 45 seconds. We're going to go on to that 15 to 20 section, seconds for your 14, okay? So we want to have these things being repped out pretty quick. Cardio. Yeah, get it done. All right, coach. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm excited. It's I'm a, well. I'll do some with you. I'm not just a, I'm just not a card flipper. That's, that's not the only thing that I do. <laughs> that's not it. I can, I'm going to get my mess. Yes. It's early in the month. I got to, I got to get them. Yeah. Can't be waiting until the end. Get your meeps. Okay, we can do this one. We're starting from the standing position. It is a six of spades, and our spades are our star jumps. Six of spades, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, the next exercise. Nine of the split jack, split squat jump, counting the center. Yes. We gotta come up with a name for these things. <laughs> All right. Corey split squats. Nine of them. Ready, Andy? Again, count when they come together. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right. So now there's certain people that are new to this are like, oh, crap. <laughs> what is this workout? Nine. Knee tuck jumps from the plank. Position, make them quick, ready, and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. If a heart shows up here, then we will have the whole, the whole, the whole one of everything. There is a, wow. Like I planned it, I really, that was. That's pretty 10 cool. push-ups. We're gonna wrap them out quick, ready, and go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten. Oh. Push ups and counting out loud and talking challenging to do. All right, well, you can flip cards at any point. Oh, I'm, I have to flip cards. I'm flipping. <laughs> and it's solely. Oh, Jack of Clubs. All right. Pause jumps. Pause jumps. Ready? Yes. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. One time we did it in the jet, the club or whatever it was, was a squat. It was jack squat every time. <laughs> We did it. It was, it was a month long joke that I found hilarious every time. <laughs> Star jumps? We got a big number. Oh, well, it's the ace. It's 14. I think I might do the jumping jacks. Okay. And you can do the star jumps or. A deal. Okay. All right. 14. Ready and let's go. One, two. I'm not going to count out loud because you can't keep up with. This pace. Nice. Not too bad. If you kept up with that pace, y'all would be like this now. <gasps> Start sounding like Darth Vader. Oh. All right. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, she says. Nine more. Ooh, okay. Nine more. Jumping jacks or star jumps. Ready right in. Here we go. One, two. Right, I'm going to try to keep up with your pace. Nine. Yeah, you needed like a moment after that. This is one. This is a good one that I know people take. On vacation with them. Yeah. So if you are planning to do a vacation or something like that, 
you go and visit somebody, I don't know. This is a great one because it takes up no room in your luggage. All you need is your person. You can do it in the hotel room. You can do it yeah. out by the pool. It works. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Ace! Let's get them out early. All right. Get the aces out while you have a lot of energy. It is our knee. Top jumps from the plank right. position. 14, ready, here we go. One thing for that one, I see people do that plank jump with their feet together like a, they were doing a plank. If you have your feet spread about hip width, maybe even shoulder width, it's gonna make it a little bit better for you. Remember, you have a lot going on there. You already have anti-rotation anytime your feet come off the ground. But then you're doing, using the lower abs, using the core, using the lower back for all of that stabilization. So I recommend a little bit wider Holy moly. 13 star jumps. Oh, we're getting them out of the way. We are. <laughs> this is the star jump round. 13 of them or jumping jacks. Ready? And let's begin. One. All right. All right. Now I'm going to go. I'm at three at the end. I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna look ahead. Okay, we're down on the floor for this next one. This is a good one. Ooh. Well deserved, well needed break from those jumps. Seven of hearts, which is seven push ups, because we all heart push ups. That's right. Ready and begin. Seven, knock them out, quick. Oh, yeah. Again, those can't be slow push-ups. You have to find a way, whether you're elevating them, whether you're dropping to your knees, that you're popping them out. Last one, round one. There's another diamond. Knee tucks. Knee tucks. We got some big cards. 13. Yeah, we have 10, two diamond or two aces. 13 knee tucks. Oh, I gotta catch up now. She said, more work, less talk. I know we got a rest coming up. We do have a rest right now. One minute. I was uh, in the gym the other day and uh, husband and wife were in there and they were working out together at the same station. And I was talking to the wife and uh, we were discussing something, I forget what it was. And the husband just looks at him and goes, more work, less talk. <laughs> <laughs> we came here to work. More work, less talk. Not to That's one of my favorite things. I usually say it to him, but no, nope, that was it. More work, less talk. I was cracking up. That was so funny. That situation. Whew. I don't know, I'm starting to double think that that fan should have come out. That fan should have come out. We had an earlier discussion about fan or no fan, and Coach Corey I voted was no like, fan. Yeah, I think we're good. And I was like, all right. It's not bad. It's cool. It's not a thousand degrees like it was the other day. Believe it or not, that has been one minute. Yeah, I believe it. You believe it? I thought it was like 32 seconds. <laughs> Next card, starting round two. Oh, yeah. The Suicide King. This is 13. Push-ups. That might happen from the knees for me. All right, let's rub them out. 13 push-ups. Good. Now, remember with your push-ups, your fingers have to be wide. I still see people when they do these push-ups and they're real narrow. Fingers wide. And then turn your hands slightly outward. That way, your elbows can come back difference. versus turning your hands towards each other and the elbows come out. It's just not going to get it done for you. 
Eight, we're on the feet. I only I don't know what the exercise is. I just know we're on the feet. Pause jump. Pause jumps. All right. Eight of those. I'm gonna start leading with my left now. Okay. Ready and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are fun. And quick. That's what I like about them. Is there? Oh, well, more push-ups. It's just five. Oh, well, it's just five. Anybody can do five push-ups. NBD. My skinny little girls can do five push-ups. <laughs> All them and they're usually like, "Wow, how much you want to give me for five push-ups? <laughs> how much is that worth?" Oh my! Oh my! Five little push-ups morphed into twelve more. Yeah. Twelve more push-ups. So four cards. That's thirteen, twenty-five. That's thirty push-ups. Okay, we're gonna get really good at push-ups. We're gonna get really good at push-ups this round. Ready and go. Twelve. Rebel them out with some speed. That's hard to breathe. Oh, that was getting hard. That's hard to breathe. Okay. It's not push-ups. It's not push-ups. It's another queen, though. Star jumps. Ooh. Twelve star jumps. Or twelve jumping jacks. Or a combination. I think I'm going to do six and six. Okay. I'm going to do six and six. All right, ready and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Oh. Okay. It's another big one. You can take this hand to Vegas, but it's not push-ups, and it's not star jumps. It is that paused split squat jump. And we're gonna do 13 of them. Alright. Ready? Yep. And begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you're bending those knees. Oh yeah, no, no, I am in, I am earning my maps right now. I am earning my maps. Let's see. Six more. Okay. It's only six though. Alright. We need to do six. We need to do it. Six is just slightly worse than four. <laughs> Ready and begin. One, two, three, four, five, and Six. Usually this is where I would be telling, if I was a coach, I would be telling a story right now, but I, I don't have enough blood in my brain right now to think of a cool story because we have 11 more push-ups. <laughs> Holy but moly. The part is that once they're off the deck, out of the deck, they're done. This will be, this is, we're coming up on 41 push-ups this round. Okay, this is our push-up round. This is our push-up round. Officially. All right, ready, 11, let's go. Turn it up to 11. <sighs> and at any point, you can do... Two push-ups from your toes and nine push-ups from your knees. It doesn't matter. You can try from the knees and then like elevate. You don't have to do every single push-up the exact same way all deck long. Six knee tuck jumps. All right. Plank position. Ready and begin. It's just six. <clears throat> Ooh. 
followed by 12 more. Ooh, okay. All right, ready? Here we go. Oh. oh, coach. All right, just one more, right? Biggie. One more. It's a biggie. I saw. I put it down like it's going to magically change. <laughs> like it's. You were like scared of that. <laughs> like it's David Blaine going to. And it's a different card. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Right. Good news is we got to rest on the other side. Rest coming up on the opposite end of this. 14 split squat jump with the pause in the middle. 14 total. Ready and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four more. Rest. Let's start that stopwatch. Ooh. And halfway. You got it. Have that drink. Halfway to go and not much water left. Halfway through the water. And that's what I love about the deck of cards workout. Every time you do it, it's the same, but it's always different. Mm -hmm. Same exercises, same amount of reps every single time you do it. But each time the order is different, the runs of the card are different. Yep. So you could get, do it next time and it doesn't feel nearly as challenging. You do it a third time, it could be the hardest thing you've ever done in your life. <laughs> like I've, I've experienced several different emotional experiences <laughs> with the deck of cards workout. All right, it's been a minute. All right, starting, oh, five, split squat jump. All right. Five of them, ready to begin. One, two, three, four, and I'm a piece of cake. No, I just don't want to get rid of too many of those just yet. Eight star jumps, eight of them. Ready and begin. Get you. After about seven, eight and above, give you a little <laughs> sucker punch right there. Six push ups. This might be our low round. Hmm. I don't want to jinx it, but. Yeah, you never know. you need a longer break during this video you can hit pause it's okay yeah, absolutely. you never know and you might not want to follow this video every time if you have your own deck of cards write down which one each of the suits is do it on your own and that's the great thing next time you do it it'll be different if you watch the video again it's gonna be the same four more push-ups Ready and begin. Four. <sighs> All right. Eleven knee tuck jumps. All right. Eleven. Knock these out. They might seem like the easiest one, but it's not. No way. No way. No way. You probably think the star jumps are the easiest no. one. Oh, okay. They're definitely the most challenging. Speaking of star jumps, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. do you see how I did that? Oh, yeah. See how I led right into that? Oh. 11 star jumps or jump jacks.
Done. And one out of the way. All right, we hit pretty much the entire upper suit for that. Could we do four more? Okay. 11 and four, 15 in a row. It's four, we got this. It's four. Perspective. Oh. oh, yeah. We knocked out two fours in this round. Yeah. I don't know. Lower suits. That might not be, that might not bode well for the next round. Ten of our split squat jump. Okay. Paul's in the middle. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and Three more in this round, one minute rest. Yes. This is way harder to do and coach than just to do or coach. I am familiar with the that. doing and coaching. Yes. I'm not. You're you're a you're a master and I am a novice <laughs> when it comes to that. <laughs> Ten knee tuck jumps from that plank position. Ready and begin. How many? Ten. You can also just hold the plank until we say we're done, which is right now. You can also just hold that plank, okay? I know a lot of you are new to the plank. This is 99 knee tuck jumps from the plank position. And some of the bigger ones, you might just want to hold the plank. Push-ups. Okay. Nine. Ninety more to go. Stop. <laughs> Rev them out. <laughs> oh. Our last one before our rest. Staying down on the ground. Seven more. Knee tuck jumps. All right, seven. seven more. Ready to go. Keep those hips low. <sighs> and we're resting before our fourth and final oh. round. I'm sweating. This is what I like to do as a coach. There are only two high cards. Okay, I feel like we haven't done some of the aces. There's only two high cards. This is where I love like card counters. I know, some people are really Accountants good. are I'm really good. I'm astounded, I'm like, I'm blown away. I was like, do you deal with numbers? They're like, actually I'm an accountant. I was like, you're like a ninja. I'd take you to, take you to Vegas. Mm -hmm. The MIT kids. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I don't know. I don't think I have the attention span. Somebody's already commented on it. It's just like, it's the this and the this that's the high. I was like, okay. <laughs> All right. Which means when we string some of these low cards together, we're good to go. There's only 11 cards left. We're starting with five star jumps. Okay. We got five. We did the four and we did the six. I know that. So here's five. Ready, in. One, two, three, and five. Whew. All right. Composed. Composed. They're just blown away. Like, I'm, my head's probably flying out of the screen. <laughs> like I, could, I can dunk a basketball on this size camera. Five, eight, knee tuck, plank. Ready, eight, and go. One, eight is great. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Staying down, eight push-ups. Okay. Eight push-ups from the toes, from the knees, whatever you want, whatever you please. You sweating yet, coach? I am. I'm like dripping. I am really wishing that I did not listen to you. 
Why didn't you turn on the fan, coach? No. Should have turned on that fan. All right. Seven more star jumps. Okay. All right. Here we go. I got to let the blood. A lot of people get dizzy when they stand up. Ace is hiding in there somewhere. She's gonna power through. You think there's an Woo! ace in there? I feel like we didn't do the ace yet. Ace of what? Of the star jumps. Hmm, interesting. All right. That is seven of the pause jumps. Pause jumps. All right. Ready and go. One, two, three, four. Six cards remain. We're getting close. I see the finish line. I know, me too. I see it. Feels good. It, it's all uphill, but I still see it. It's a good thing. Oy, oy, oy. Four more of those. Okay. Four more. Ready? Yeah. And one, two, three, and four. All right, let's see what we got. One of the two high cards is a queen of the split squat jumps. Okay. That would be 12. 12, yes. Ready? And let's begin. One, two. Keep bending those knees. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Accumulating your points. I'm, I'm, yeah, oh, I'm accumulating. Um, oh, yeah. Racking them up. Racking them up. All right. Let's see. What do we got left? Five? Four. Four cards left. Okay. Ten star jumps or ten jumping jacks or maybe five and five. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, man. Heart is racing. Whew. Three to go. Okay. If your heart's racing, their heart is racing. Yeah. That I know. Five knee tuck jumps. Okay. All right. Ready and begin. One, two, three, and five. Woo! Ready? Oh gosh. Four more knee tuck jumps. You keep scaring me. And the last one. Now I feel the anxiety of these folks at home, like when they're waiting. Waiting. And I know you know what's. I know what this one is. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> do, let me do a little yoga here first. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> 14 push ups. Ah, okay. That's what the ace was. That's what the ace was. There was an ace that was missing. So the I ace know. was four. Must have blocked those star jumps out. Team. Was that first? Was that one of the first push cards? Push-up, yes. Yeah, okay. 14 push-ups. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. One, two. And. <sighs> well done, coach. Sweaty. Just a little. Oh my gosh. Get your here. drink. Let your ice drink out. Yeah. Oh. All right. That's done. Killed it. <laughs> oh. That's a good one. That was fun. Eh. 
Sure, we'll go with th that definition of fun. That might be the lost definition. <laughs> you know, when they're you like, like, you feel like that's the, this, the minority feeling, right? The minority sentiment. Like when they do the do the spelling bee con uh, competitions, they're also like, in ancient Latin, it could also mean that's this is an ancient version of fun. All right, let's start in this position. Okay. All right, that was a good setup. Thank you, Coach. Mm -hmm. So you got one foot in front, one foot back behind you. Whatever leg it is in front, we're gonna raise that arm up. And we'll come across the body. That was good until we put our arm up. Right. <laughs> I was like, that was comfortable. This is not. <laughs> this is not. And whatever thigh is right in front, we're going to reach out with our opposite arm. I'm going to try to set our chest right down on that leg. Reach way out in front. And relax. Now we're going to bring the back leg right out in front and come forward. Feeling how I missed my yoga this week. Mr. Yoga. I can tell. Now let's put our feet together in the middle. Sit up nice and tall. I don't know, I'm still sweating. I was going to say, I feel like I'm still sweating. Yeah. What a change. Went from the winter. Winter, <laughs> right into, into the, summer. the heat. Spring and fall, non-existent in the DMV anymore. Yeah. Now let's take that leg back behind us. We're gonna go up and over. And let's come out that leg. And relax, let's come up. Hands and knees, we're gonna reach back behind us now, back behind us, and if you have yoga blocks or something like that, a lot of times I like to use the yoga blocks. If I can't reach the floor, and I lift up yeah, nice and high. That's a great, great tool. Yes. Now let's come straight out in child pose. Now let's come forward into Cobra. And relax. All right. So you're done. <laughs> Because it's a new month, I always get people asking, well, I'm sore, I'm sore, what do I do with sore? The, obviously, you can do all the soft tissue work, right? The foam roller, getting massage, yoga, stretching, all those things are wonderful. However, what I find makes the big, and those should be daily anyways. That should just be part of your routine. That shouldn't be only when you get uh, sore, right? That's the same thing as saying, I got a cavity, I better start brushing my teeth. You don't just start brushing your teeth once you get a cavity. Don't start foam rolling only when you're sore. Uh, it should be part of your routine. But things that also should be part of your routine that's going to help with the soreness, drinking enough water, getting enough sleep, and proper nutrition. Those are the three biggest components to recovery that you could ever, ever, ever do. And again, make those part of your daily routines as well. You'll be less sore. You'll be able to continue and do more. That was good. We should 
Cut yes. that out. We'll put that as its own separate video. That was on point. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good information. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this deck of cards workout again. You could do this on your own. You could do this on your own. You just need to write down what the different exercises are. Then just do the number, right? Jack is 11, queen is 12, king is 13, ace is 14. Give yourself one minute rest. We're going to line up 11 cards at a time and then four rounds. Do it on your own. That's right. And then come back at the end, maybe do it with us again and good to go. Good to go. Uh, if you like the video, hit like. Please leave us comments that lets us know that you're watching and makes us feel a little more connected to the outside world. Uh, share it, subscribe, all those good things. High five, coach. Great job. High five out High five there. Guys. Awesome. And we will see you at the next workout.